What's up, banditos? Tux has your back. The other day, we discovered a new secret exotic not on the patch notes for the PTS. They were hiding in plain sight. This has caused us to dig a little bit deeper. And from the help from my man on the inside, we've discovered more hidden gear. And you're gonna see it here first. Hit the like right now and comment secret gear. Let's go. Banditos, we unearthed a new exotic nobody has told you about. It was not on the roster, in the patch notes, or in the gear provided for testing. Yet, this exotic clearly exists. Is there more gear for us than what's been publicly revealed so far? That's the question that led us to unearthing more gear hidden inside the PTS as part of Phase 2. And this is raising even more questions. Is it possible the future of the Division 2 holds more than we know? In case you've been off planet for the past couple of weeks, the devs woke up from the long hibernation to begin servicing this live service game again. And title update 15 will contain an all new season nine with new gear and a new game mode. Right now, thousands of banditos are in the PTS for phase two testing it all out. Prior to testing, the devs provided us with patch notes with a list of new gear we were to expect. On that list and in the PTS phase two, two are the new Catharsis Exotic Mask, the Dread Edict Exotic SVD MMR, the Blue Screen Exotic LMG, the Kingbreaker named Assault Rifle, the Dare named LMG, the Uzina Getica Brand Set, the Closer named Chest Piece, the Setup named Backpack, and of course, the Heartbreaker Gear Set, all as expected. But what we didn't expect to find were these new exotic Rathbones gloves. These were not mentioned in the notes and were not provided for testing. Learn more in this video. But as we dug further, we discovered more hidden gear. This gear has also not been provided for testing. And we found this unlisted gear hiding in plain sight by digging through layers of the expertise system. Within each category is a comprehensive list of gear to research for proficiency. And this is what we found. Starting with the gloves, these are the hidden gloves. We don't yet know the attributes on these gloves. All we know right now is that they exist and we have not been told about them. They appear to be similar to improvised gloves, but I suspect that's only a placeholder image because they don't have a fully designed skin yet. I'm basing that on experience because we're seeing similar results on the new exotics and new named items in the PTS for phase two. I believe all this gear will look different at launch. What jumped out at me first for these gloves was the name. Hidden is awfully close to the word hidden. Knowing our devs are most mostly Northern European, I decided to translate this word to check the meaning. I asked for a translation and I got this. And just as I suspected, the word turns out to be Swedish and means hut. So these gloves have a play on words and following the crumbs, this leads us to the hidden hotels. Now that's very interesting. The hidden hotels is not a new thing, but many players aren't aware of their existence. Scattered around Washington DC are six hidden hotels, which are more like huts, as our Swedish friends suggest. Each hotel hosts a check-in button. After finding them all, you can unlock a hidden room underneath the Washington Monument. Right now, as it sits today, there is no special gear you get or unlock when you open up this room. So the question has to be asked, is it possible that the devs are going to turn the hidden hotels into a quest? And if so, are these gloves going to be the reward? And if these gloves are the reward of such a quest, what possible unique attribute will they have? Will they have a double mod slot like the chill out mask? This is the named SR1 MMR Adrestia. This too was not mentioned in the patch notes and has not been provided for testing. In Greek mythology, Adrestia was the goddess of inevitable fate, representing pressing necessity and the inescapability of punishment. She was the daughter of Eris and Aphrodite. Again, we don't have any talents or attributes listed. And there is the possibility that this sniper variant is just a placeholder for this named weapon. I gotta say, there is already a named SR1 with a perfect talent on it, and that's perfect reformation, which gives you more healing power. Is it possible that 
this new named MMR will replace that one? Or will it be a different one with an elevated attribute like the White Death? Or will they give us a unique talent like the Mop with 10% armor on kill? Or how about a perfect version of a talent we already have? Many weapon talents have two variants for the perfect version. For example, the Test Subject and the Harmony both have perfect in sync. For me, I would like to see another perfect preservation on this sniper, which can also be found on Emeline's Guard SMG. This named backpack is also not mentioned on any notes, and it also hasn't been provided for any testing. It's called the Hazmat 01 backpack, but look closely. This is part of a gear set, and wow, that opens up a whole nother can of worms. Is it possible there's a whole nother gear set in the works waiting to be revealed, and will it be locked behind the new game mode, like system corruption is locked behind the dark zone? From the name, I have a feeling that this is going to be about status effects or hazard protection or possibly both and the devs did mention that there were going to be some game changers for pvp so this is possibly dedicated to that game mode could this gear set be for pvp i don't have any answers for you today only more questions my mind is turning and there are a lot of possibilities. Number one, these gear concepts were not approved but are still showing up on the PTS. So they're basically a mistake and don't belong here. Number two, it's future gear intended to be released in future updates and we're just getting a glimpse of it. Number three, this gear is intended for TU-15 but it's not on the patch notes because it's underdeveloped and not ready to be tested. And lastly, number four, the devs did not provide comprehensive patch notes. I gotta venture and say I suspect it's a combination of both number three and four. This gear is not ready to be tested and the patch notes are not comprehensive. For example, if you didn't hear the news, the raid exclusive gear will now be available in the open world targeted loot. We're talking about the Foundry Bulwark and Future Initiative backpack and chest pieces. All the exotics will still remain behind the raids. This is sort of a big detail and was also not mentioned in the patch notes. And just like the gear we're discovering here, it was also realized during the PTS testing. We were told, and I'm sort of glad to hear that the time the devs spent keeping us in the dark was not time spent developing. It was time gearing up operations to service this live service game again. And that's good. That means we're in for a lot more than just TU-15. That being the case, I believe the devs are doing the best, but they are scrambling for this release. We're currently seeing a lot of unfinished work in the PTS. The exotics don't even have their final skins. There was a larger than usual gap between PTS Phase 1 and Phase 2. They didn't provide the new gear as part of Phase 1 and admitted partially because it wasn't complete. They also said they wanted to break the PTS into phases for concentration reasons. So this hidden gear could possibly be ghosts of concepts past, but I think it's more likely that it's not fully developed for testing yet. And they're not mentioned in the patch notes so the devs don't over promise and under deliver. But let me turn the question over to you. Why do you think this gear exists, but we're not told anything about it? These are the new secret exotic gloves for the Division 2 that nobody knows about, and I want them. Tuxedo out.